Hello, welcome back to Scram Mechanic. In this video, I'm going to show kind of a new suspension design I was thinking of. Yesterday at work, I was just picking orders, so I had tons of time to daydream. And I came up with this idea. It is basically caster wheels. So what you have on like a shopping cart or something where you push the cart forwards, the wheels spin one way, and then when you turn they rotate, if you pull it they spin around 180 degrees. Those are caster wheels. I'm going to try and do that with this set, but use an axle like this. And then have this set as like the powered set, or have this and the front set as the powered set, and this just kinda support weight, I guess. So, for the video I just wanted to get the <clears throat> the front end of the truck done, and then record this part. So I think I'm going to start like this, and then so they will turn on their own, I need to set the caster ahead of the rotating point. So here, which means the suspension and stuff, I'm probably going to shift forwards one block. It's going to mostly be the same. And then I'm going to have a bar here that connects the wheels to each other. And then I'll put the uh, pivot point or bearing, whatever there. <clears throat> That's going to fall over. <laughs> do, 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 like that. And then stick that in the hole so it's kind of centered. That's all this is for, really, is to just build things in the middle. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to build this part just like the front, but as I said, shifted forwards by one. So this will go here and here, and then come straight across. <clears throat> um, what next? This will come across like so, with a T in the middle, like this, and then another one here, and one here. I'm going to bring <clears throat> this back like so, just to mock it up really quick, and then I'll switch it to tubes also. Okay, so... I did that a little bit wrong. It's supposed to be like this. <clears throat> I'm also thinking of making this a mid-lift, so when this axle's not needed, it'll lift up, and these wheels won't touch the ground. And then when it is needed, they'll go drop down. Which, with that, I should shorten the chassis a bit, give it a shorter wheelbase. But, we'll see. Okay, so. Oops, now I'll bring this back. <clears throat> um, do, do, do. Use this, and then this and down. Come on. There we go. Up, and up, and then... Um, how would I do the front? 
like that. <clears throat> Make sure this is all welded together, like so. Take off this. And for now, I'm just going to uh, only have the two pipes. Oops, going front to back. So if I wanna want to shorten it, I can. Come on, there we go. <clears throat> Make sure that's welded. Yep. Okay. So this should work. <clears throat> I'll bring this down like the other end, or the front. Oops. There we go. I'm not making this fancy or anything right now. <clears throat> I just want to see if it'll work. Um, I'm going to put that there and there, bring the bar forwards. Oh crap. Um, <clears throat> hmm. I'd like to just bring the bar straight across there. Which I can do. Okay, yeah. I'll just use this. <clears throat> I'm bringing it across here. Just to tie the wheels together. That way they don't just kinda flop around. <laughs> And then uh, the chassis goes towards the middle for here. My sounds are a little messed up at the moment for some reason. <clears throat> okay, it goes across there also. So that is like that. Hmm. This bar might hit the chassis. Not a huge deal if it does, because this truck is isn't really built for like flex and whatnot. But <clears throat> it'd be nice if it wouldn't hit. <clears throat> okay. That is that part. I'm going to throw together this part, and uh, I'll test it. And I've already done it wrong. <clears throat> there we go. Weld this together. A nice thing about this kind of suspension is when you accelerate, the way physics work is the wheel will try and go forwards, which will lift up the rear end of the vehicle, which will help with carrying heavy loads. <clears throat> if you follow close behind uh, like a transport truck or dump truck or something with this kind of suspension, watch through rear end like the chassis and the axle and you'll see when they accelerate in between shifting gears the back end will lift up. <clears throat> I find it kind of interesting. 
But then again, I also just really like stuff like this. Um, like this. Weld that together. <clears throat> I just did that wrong. And then this and like that. The, uh, the springs on it. <clears throat> also, if I was making this to be like a specific off-road vehicle, I wouldn't have these down so far, I'd change the chassis instead. <clears throat> um, I forget how I did that. Okay, and this comes over, and back, which I kind of messed up on this one. <clears throat> I guess that'll be okay. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just gonna leave it like that. <clears throat> Hold that together, and that's done. Take off these uh, connectors that I used for, oops, putting the wheels together. back in the middle, <clears throat> sniffle some more, <sighs> and yawn, okay, <clears throat> and I'm gonna throw a little engine on it, just for the time being, to test it, <clears throat> I'm going to attach it to the front wheels, and the backmost wheels, And I haven't put bearings on the wheels yet. <clears throat> there we go. If I put power to the first set of rear wheels, oops, like I was about to do, it'll mess with the steering. I forgot to weld it. That was good. <clears throat> Wait. No, that's just not on right. <clears throat> How about now? There we go. Ah, uh, suspension glitch, where? Front end. Looks like it's hitting the body.
Okay, so there's an issue with the rear end. Because there are too many bearings. Because there isn't supposed to be a bearing there. It's supposed to be like that. And I just broke it even more. Oh, come on. Oops. There we go. Okay, where's the suspension glitch happening? Up front somewhere. Whoa, no! Stop it. Why? Why you do this? <clears throat> um, I'm gonna try something really quick just to quickly fix that. Maybe. Never had that issue with this suspension design before. Three, 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 and three, okay. I'm gonna put a bed on it just to give it some weight on the back so it's not super front heavy. <clears throat> like so. Okay, front wheels should turn right. And those middle wheels are pretty much just going to do whatever they want, which is kind of not good, but... Did I finish the ramp on this side? Yes, I did. Let's see if this works. Why is it leaning? Four and four. <clears throat> five and five. Okay, so yes, it looks like it is working. If I go straight, they should be mostly straight. I'm going to put more weight on those ones so they don't slide so much. <clears throat> Yeah, that actually mostly works. I'm gonna put some more weight on the back. Just throw on a bunch of tires. <clears throat> and then stiffen this one. This will force these wheels to have some more grip. <clears throat> and you can see they are slightly turning as I turn. And then I straighten out and they straighten out. And that's exactly what I wanted to happen. So, the reason for this, but what happens, yeah. It'll screw up when you back up though, because they want to spin around. So I will have to make it a mid-lift somehow. So the reason for doing this <clears throat> is when you have, like, this is a, uh, I'm going to say it's a triaxle because it has three axles. Usually a triaxle will have three sets of wheels on the back, but actually let's just call this a two-axle just because it's, we're talking about this half. So two axle instead of like one, what's going to happen is when you turn, it's going to pivot along this, these wheels. So when the front comes around, this end, it's going to drag the rear wheels. 
and scrub them and stuff. So this will allow it to pivot more on here and save the tires. So yeah, um, I'm gonna work on this a bit more, then I'll update it, and I'll let you guys know how it goes. Hope you enjoyed, I hope this gives you some ideas, and thanks for watching.